Hi, welcome to our last portion of the story of the Christmas of Hope. The shepherds were not the only ones who saw the star. After Jesus was born, wise men came from the east. They were looking for the one who was born as the king of the Jews, for they had seen his star in the east and they came to worship him. I can only imagine how long and difficult their journey was. When we go camping out, it's fun for a time, and in this day, we get to take our vehicles and stay in campers. But these wise men undertook an arduous journey. They were far from home, camping under the stars every night, and they didn't really know where they were gonna end up in their journey. But they followed the star that they had seen in the east, the beautiful bright star always before them until they came to where this new king was. Oh, what incredible joy they felt when they entered that house. And when they saw the child with his mother Mary, they fell down on their knees and they worshiped him. They opened their treasures and presented him with gold, frankincense, and myrrh. They had found the new king. We never know where life will take us or what bends will be in our road. But if we are wise, our journey will lead us to the great treasure, Jesus. The wise men followed a star and found the greatest treasure of all. Please enjoy our final story tonight. We hope you have been blessed, encouraged, and inspired. There is always hope in Jesus. Have a very Merry Christmas, and may the blessings of God be upon you and all of your households. Hello, my name is Deborah. I was born and raised in East Detroit with my parents and sister who was two years older than me. I was from a loving family. My sister and I had a good childhood and got along well. Growing up in the 60s, at age 12, my sister got in with the wrong crowd and uh, she began her downward spiral into drug addiction. And we became what is now called a dysfunctional family. I became an only child because my sister was no longer a part of our family. I really felt the loss. There was anger, fear, and so much heartache in our home during this time. The troublesome time helped me make the decision about my life and what I wanted. I made the decision that after high school, I would join the military. And so at 18, I did join the Air Force, stepping into the trials and errors of adulthood and being on my own. I was very happy with this decision and was enjoying my new life but something was missing. I had grown up in the church and was baptized at an early age, so I started going to church, but not committing my life fully to Christ. Not understanding that the Lord is aware of all things, and even when we are not living for Him, He is always living for us. I was in the military for eight years when I became a single parent to a beautiful daughter, and a few years later, I met and married a wonderful man who became my husband. We have been married for 37 years. Two years into our marriage and young life, I became very ill with a severe vascular disease and I had to have a life-threatening surgery. I was one of the youngest people to have this surgery done. This was frightening and quite a blow to my family because we didn't know what the outcome would be. So trying not to worry and heal is a tough combination, definitely one that I could not do on my own. With this illness, I became a slave to anxiety and fear, and this truly impacted my life and marriage. I asked the Lord to heal me and to give me peace and to help me rest in Him. The Lord was faithful and answered my prayers. He gave me peace and I rested in Him. I started reading the Bible and going to church, and I learned that the closer I became to the Lord, the more I would love myself, my family, and others. Over the next years, I had multiple illness and surgeries. These trials have not been easy for my husband and my daughter, but it has brought us closer together in our faith and love. I have been blessed with a good church family who loves me and prays for me. I continue to let go and let God knowing that he's with me always. The Lord has blessed me greatly. He has used me to help those that are ill, their families, and to bring comfort to the dying through encouragement, holding someone's hand, or to sit quietly and wait. I am truly thankful for the opportunity to play, pray and witness to others about his love, hope, and healing. Love casts out all fear and is a universal language understood by all.